Europe, Asia, Australia, North America, South America, Antarctica, Africa. Welcome back to my channel. My name is Matthews, aka Matthews08 from Zambia, here in Moscow. If you are new, don't forget to subscribe if you are a returning viewer. Thank you very much for always coming back to my channel without wasting much of your time here in Russia. They have opened the exhibition that they are calling Moscow 2030. This is the new transport system that they have planned for the next five years because next year it is 20, uh, 2025. 20, then they are planning the transport for the next five years. So we'll go into the future of Moscow transport together. That's where the exhibition is taking place. So if you are new, don't forget to subscribe. And if you are a returning viewer, thank you very much. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram and Facebook in the description of my video. The famous Moscow transport 2030 is taking place at this, you know, famous place called the Red Square. It's Red Square, but the square here it is called Manager. You can even check out how the fountain are working and people are just flocking to this place. I've decided to come at this time of the uh, evening because you are going to find place people and there are place queues because if I came or if I was to come on the weekend ooh, it would have been very difficult for me to get in and I hate standing in the queue so let's go and explore the future most for transport that the government has introduced we are going to check out the bus the electric bus that they have the metro station and another mode of transport called electric car which is vulgar look there that's why it is even written moscow 2030 moscow transport i always say that i don't know how much the government spends just on moscow alone Ooh. I'm already at the place where uh, this uh, exhibition is taking place. Look at that. Moscow Transport 2030. I just want to walk you through or to show you the Moscow Transport, the kind of transport system that they use here in Russia. I'll take you to the bus. This is an electric bus. It does not uh, emit any gas it is ecologically free this is the bus the moscow 2030 so they have designed it in such a way that it is just rechargeable look at all these people coming don't forget to like don't forget to subscribe if you are new on this channel let's get inside this bus we check the details of how it is looking and what are some of the uh, little details that you can pay attention always there is a screen where it displays some uh, bus stops or some adverts about Moscow transport look at uh, the seats where people seats apart from that let me show you something as well these buses they are fitted with cameras there's always cameras that's why they say that moscow is the only city in the world with the highest number of cameras wow look at this the charging port where you need to charge your phone you just need to put your usb yourself to go you don't need to worry about your phone not being uh, charged what else let's continue i chose this time because it is quite uh, calm people are not it's weekday so people are working and it is very quiet here it's for old people you can even see 
odd people in case there is an odd people is inside you need to leave this uh, space for them another look at how they are looking these charging ports or the usb here if you need to ask the driver to stop you just press here then it's going to stop it is very important in each and every bus you have this equipment medical equipment in case of cases or in case of uh, emergence wow the cameras let's go we check the and these buses are made in russia by this company called Kamaz. i've seen a lot of different different uh, cars the camera there well guys this is how the 2030 moscow transport will be looking so we have explored the bus and let me take you to the metro station because here the metro station is like underground heaven of this place the design the architect and everything that is inside just out of this world this is the driver seat how it looks inside there all the details he checks what is happening the buttons and he put his own space this is where you just tap your card you pay just like that well we have uh, finished apparently um exploding this electric bus this is the electric bus you can even see that it is written electric electrobus meaning it's an electric bus this is the interior or rather the exterior view of the bus it's quite modern very modern behind Wow. There. Are. This is the wagon Moscow 2014. So this one they made it so recent. It is 2014 in this year. We are going to see how it is inside. First I need to go through the security system. There. Are. Moscow Transport 2030. Let me do this. Yeah, you see? After showing you the bus, now here, hey. this is where they are checking everything. So I need to go through. They check what is in my bag because uh, safer, it's better to be safer than to be sorry. Now, farm i've entered the main place although i'm still at the main place there that is the metro it is the fastest mode of transport here in moscow and one of the cheapest here it is also kind of a metro or a train it is called uh, electrichka mostly it moves within moscow and outside moscow like outskirt of moscow it is got vulgar 4.0 there this one it is 97 percent russian what do i mean by that that means the equipment all the things that they use 97 percent are from russia then three percent they are from other countries because they want to move away from dependence on western equipment so western you know chips hence they created this one we are going to get inside and check how it is looking and other unique details that it possesses all oh, these are um, modes of transport that you can see in this place they are operational they are operational how i just love the look of this metro everyone 
is waiting to get inside to see how the machinists, they call them machinists, how they drive these. They to even there can't wait to get inside and check. So let's check out the interior and some other unique features. Oh, la, la. So this is a big mirror here. I can even see myself. You can see me. Well, this is the new metro. Probably I've seen it somewhere. I'll make a video about this uh, metro. Just see three three sensor ekran. They are control of sex system in Abfanovki salon. So meaning there are three sensor screens in this place to control everything. Look at the seats. Very cute. And what I wanted to show you is if you are sitting here, you can easily charge your phone. These are the special features that I'm showing you. What else are we going to find? Fire extinguisher. Because a lot of people they comment that here you are going to find this is one of the you know best metro stations in the world and how clean it is. Apart from that, you see the screen here. This one is a screen you can check how you are moving, where you are going, those where you can charge your phones. Always it is very important there is a screen. Moscow 2030. There is a screen here where you see information, where you wish and where you are going. Let's continue walking. Seats. I think I also just need to take a seat in this place to just feel to show you the feeling of working in this Moscow Transport 28. This is the future of Moscow Transport here in Russia. Let me also take a seat. Yeah. Oh, guys, if you are watching from Europe, Asia, wow, the noise. That's why today I'm having a mic because I know this place is quite noisy and I'm hoping I hope I'm quite audible enough. People are still just coming to this place. I'm not the only one, but I chose the right and perfect time to show you this exhibition. Why? Because you find less people at this time of the hour. Oh, there is a queue here. How I hate queues, but there is nothing that I can do at the moment because I also want to see what happens in front of this metro. I also have to, to wait. Then afterwards, I will take you there. Разгон. Чтобы случайно не поехать, не стоит блокировка. Можете попробовать, если... Нажимаете вниз, вставливаете вниз, нет, да, делаете вниз, тормозите. Ага. Вот так. И вот в этом положении нужно... Для этого вы разгоняетесь, преодолев блокировку, чтобы случайно не нагнать. Это же фиксированное положение, которое не является блокировкой. Вот, вторая рука лежит обычно вот так вот, это экстренный тормоз. Нужно будет остановиться. На всякий случай. Да, перед станцией увидели там человека на путях. Соответственно, такое движение там можно. Ну, смотрите, когда вы так держите, у вас руки устанут, пальцы устанут. Да, поэтому вы кладете, спокойно у вас лежит рука, у вас пальцы отдыхают, но в случае чего вы можете вот это движение сделать. Да. Okay, да. вот. Что еще задействует машинист обычно? Вот этот рычаг разгоняется, тормозим и двери. У нас платформа либо с этой стороны, либо с этой, либо слева, либо справа. Соответственно, открываем мы либо левые двери, либо правые. Но просто так, как говорит, нельзя, но это все выбор. Это постраховка, что случайно не открыть. Какая лапочка горит, то мы выбрали. Сейчас у нас левая выбрана, мы можем это выключить. Это никакая, ничего не выбрано. Можно выбирать правый. Все, правый уже горит. Можно открывать. Открываем, тоже случайно нажатие, не просто короткое нажатие, а пару секунд. Пару секунд подержали, дверь открылись. Сейчас у нас они уже были открыты, поэтому ничего не происходит. Закрываем, соответственно, коротким нажатием все, что 
а, типа здесь видео на Бругене мощь. Да, да. Здесь в ракурсов в салоне, да. специальные видеозеркала везде, где можно, наблюдение за кабиной нашей, за кабиной хвостовой, если бы она у нас была. Uh -huh. По каждому погоду, каждую камеру все можно приблизить. Uh -huh. По умолчанию uh -huh. светит, работает именно внешние камеры, но если его вызов идет из какого-то вагона, соответственно, должна включиться камера того вагона. Uh -huh. Это все записывается, никто uh -huh. это в реальном режиме не смотрит, uh -huh. но если нужно, можно посмотреть. То uh -huh. обидчик. So guys, this is the interior of how it looks. I'm, I feel like I'm flying the plane or something. Yes, this is the Moscow 2030. <laughs> After checking the interior of how they work, now let's check the, the Volga 4.0. You can even see here it is written made in Russia. For Moscow, I told you in the beginning 97% complex, all the complex that they use, they are made in uh, Russia. Let's just uh, get inside to also explore this futuristic Moscow transport. Most, in Moscow, you are going to find a lot of different kinds of uh, transport. Otherwise, getting inside there, I've learned a lot. I've asked some questions because I've been wanting to know how they use and how it operates. I've, no, I've learned one or two things. I also need to use this one. This is the Evalga. It is like a train, but it is not a train. Look, future Moscow transport. I think this futuristic Moscow transport is going to blow your minds look at this the seats let me just wow they are quite soft i've used such kind of a metro for long distance let's check also the unique features that are here in this place oh guys people inside the door, of course, the camera as well. We are extreme, like emergents, where you can charge your phone. I think you place. Oh, Jesus Christ! This one is going to blow your mind. Hmm? That's where you throw your trash. Here, <laughs> there, I had to wait for about more than 30 minutes. Another place where you can charge your phone. If you are sitting on the other side here, you look, even the names are here. I think this is the charging place where you put your phone and it will start charging. There, up. That's why you put your luggage because this. Uh, so that because this one it moves like out of Moscow within and out of most outskirts of Moscow. If there is no space where to sit with the handles, you just hold them like this. What do you think about this futuristic Moscow transport? Drop a comment. Let me know. I also need to wait here to also see what is uh, happening. And if you are riding a bike, just imagine this section. It's the bike section where you can just leave your bike. And this is and this is for the um invalid people. Huh? Those with kids definitely they had everyone in mind.
This is the queue. I don't know how long it's going to take, but there I stood for I think about 30, more than 30 minutes. And I can see a sign of a toilet there, meaning inside there is a toilet. Wow. This is the toilet. I opened it now. There is someone inside. Now this is the toilet. Now it is closed. I tried to open it. Ah, yeah, it's locked. This is for the place for the disability. Okay, guys, I'm all alone in this place. So, this is how it looks the future Moscow transport. This is 97% made in Russia. All the equipment you can see here. It's something that you just feel nice. Look at it, how it is looking. I can even see people from there. Otherwise, my mind has been blown away by this uh, infrastructure here. There, I was even taught how to press this one. It's almost like the same. You know, these, these, the buttons and other things here it's a mic where you need to announce when you're about to to leave and other things so guys this is me here trying to enjoy my life showing you how the future most for transport is going to be for the next like five years Moscow 2030 exploring it in style where are you watching this video from drop a comment look at the seats awesome seats even there and there is even a small fridge there where you can put your things otherwise there's even a fire extinguisher in case of cases everything is quite ready you can press whatever you want to press in this um yes and uh, i want you to see those people the way are you okay? okay thank you so guys this, this is uh, thank you bye this is it thank you thank you wow i've uh, explored almost all the three modes of transport that you are going to use here in moscow the bus on the other side the metro in the middle and electric career vulgar so guys uh, i just want to say thank you very much i hope this video has been entertaining has been quite informative you've learned one or two things about the future moscow transport inside there there is also something that is going on but it is going to be another video because i need to make it in peace without being in a hurry i hope i'm audible enough i just want to say thank you very much for always coming back to my channel don't forget to subscribe don't forget to like i will see you in my next video it was matthew aka matthew 08 from zambia peace